before we start the video, I'm gonna show you guys my one of my favorite songs at the moment that I know is is really famous right now. I'm just gonna chill like if we're chilling in my room and we're just gonna listen to this song. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is July 16th and I'm bringing you a video updating you on what's been going on in my life lately. So it has been really stressful, really hard and um, not something that I would want to be going through right now but I guess I just have to go through it because you know. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys on my life and hopefully it's not boring But that's just what I want to do today. So hopefully you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started All right, so let's go ahead and start off with why I haven't been uploading um, Or vlogging basically it's because I have been working a lot I work an 8 to 5 job Monday through Thursday and when I get home my brain is fried and I just eat and I lay down and I just unwind and then I get up and go to the gym come home and shower and sleep and wake up and do the same thing the next morning so it's just been really hard for me to go do something fun because it's summer and vlog it all and hang out with all my friends um, so that's basically why I haven't been vlogging or uploading much or at all basically so it is really stressful and it uses my brain more than anything which is which I'm actually incredibly thankful for this job because my mom has always told me that she'd rather me work with my head and on my hands which is fine because I just use my computer I type and I am on the phone all the time but I do use a lot of my brain and it's it's just stressful and my eyesight has actually kind of gone down just a little tiny bit because I'm always on looking at a computer screen. So yeah, it's just my job is it just gets really stressful and it's not just what I have to work doing. It's basically the requirements that I have to meet every single day in order to have good numbers the next day and to have good numbers on my charts and... So that's what's going on in my life right now, job-wise. Um, now personally, like my friends, my relationships my, my, with my parents and my family and all of that, um, I'm actually right now emotionally unstable and mentally unstable. Actually just yesterday something very heartbreaking happened, so it was my decision to step on a different road than the one I was going in and my personal relationships are going kind of downhill and I stepped foot onto a different path and it was my decision so that's completely on me and it's fine. Um, I knew that I needed to do it and what I was going through was just something that I knew I didn't deserve so I'm going on a different path at the moment um, so that's with my personal life that's why I'm I feel like I'm kind of mentally and emotionally unstable and unavailable at the moment but other than that um, my relationship with my friends and family are pretty great um, so yeah that's with that let's go ahead and get that out of the way now the last Thing I want to touch on on this video is actually kind of a touchy subject I did think a lot about if I wanted to put this out on the out on the internet and on my YouTube channel if this is the content that I was deciding to bring out and it is my YouTube channel and I thought that it's my life so what better than to bring my subscribers my friends into it and view it from my perspective so I did think a lot about it I did talk to a few people about putting this content out and some said um, well what are you gonna do it like how exactly are you gonna do it but then some were like yeah like 
that's your life so i feel like that'd be an interesting outlook and i know that a lot of people have gotten hate for doing this and that i might get a lot of hate but i just ask you from the bottom of my heart please keep your rude comments to yourself i do read every single comment and even when i don't reply if it's rude it kind of does get to me i know to ignore it and i know how to not pay attention to it but it still takes a little toll on my emotions just for like a tiny bit of time but it does you know and so the subject that i'm bringing out is something that's going on in my life that is making it a hundred times more stressful than it already was um i'm in jeopardy of not being eligible to work in this country I was actually not born here, I was born in Mexico and I'm actually extremely proud of that. I love where I come from and what I came from and so with that being said, I was brought here illegally when I was one year old and then again when I was five years old and ever since I was five I've lived here in Colorado and I went to school here and I graduated here and every I did everything. I've done everything from five up to the age 18 now that I'm gonna be 19 next month. I'm so excited. Anyways, um, so I'm in jeopardy of losing my ability to work here and it's because, the, the reason I can work here legally is because of DACA. So if you don't know what DACA is, it's the Consideration of Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. So it's for children that were brought here when they were extremely tiny and um, basically not of age to know exactly what was going on so i was brought here when i was young and thanks to amazing amazing people that i'm extremely thankful for i was given the privilege to work here legally and it is kind of expensive to apply for this for the DACA that I applied for and um, it isn't permanent so you have to renew it every two years and I went through a lawyer to get it I applied my application was put through a lawyer and when I went online to search up how I can renew it it says that I can do it through the lawyer again or I can print out the papers fill them out put the copy of my old work permit and um, passport pictures and put a money order for the amount that it costs and send it over. It's actually applying to renew my DACA. So, um, as I said, it is kind of expensive, so I'm trying to set, save a couple hundred bucks on the lawyer. But what I do need is an, a copy of my application, which I've been trying to get a hold of my lawyer for about a month or a little bit over a month now and just a few days ago I got a hold of him I went over to his house and I asked him for my application and he told me that he didn't know where it was and he doesn't know if he still has it or if it's lost or if he didn't save it and that took a huge toll on me because if I don't work then you know how am I gonna bring income I went on Wednesday, I believe, told me to give him a call back on Thursday, and on Thursday he told me the same thing, that he would look again, and then I called him back on Friday, and he didn't answer, so I left a voicemail, and today is Sunday, and he hasn't cut. He hasn't gotten back to me, which is just extremely scary because my DACA does expire on August 26th, and that is next month. That's about a little bit over a week after my birthday. So without that, I can't work legally. Um, my job did tell me that on the date that it expires, it's the and they don't have my new one, that is the day of my termination at my job. Which, it's really scary because, I mean, yeah, I, it's just something that I didn't want to go through, but I'm going through. And it's fine because I was given the privilege to work legally for quite some time and I, I i did advantage of it i worked the, from the date that i got that work permit up to today to the date that it's gonna expire so that's what's going on i actually have my clipboard with my application for renewal here it's a lot of papers and i have to send it in quite some time before it expires just so i have time for it to come back if it does come back because if there's something wrong in this application 
if there's something that isn't the same for my initial application they can deny it and that's it that's that for me and that's why I so importantly need this initial the copy of my initial application and the lawyer just doesn't get back to me and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do so with that being said that does make me an immigrant in this country and I know that immigrants have been labeled to be bad and to come just to steal other people's jobs and to be to do something bad to other people but honestly it's not like that at all not to everyone at least my family brought me here for an opportunity to a better life and trust me when I say that I got that and I am so blessed to have had this opportunity to live here and not have to go through what people are going through currently in Mexico if you're not wealthy in Mexico it's extremely hard to live it's extremely hard to get money to just seem simply eat one day so and that's what happened um being here has just been a incredible privilege that I was given at a young age and I thank my parents for it and God for bringing us here safely and for helping us live here safely because if it wasn't for God that put us on this earth then we wouldn't be anything <laughs> so that's basically what's going on in my life guys I am in jeopardy of losing my job I'm not mentally or emotionally stable at the moment um, you know it's it's very unfortunate and I um, I know that many 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 people have it way worse than me and everyone has battles and everyone deals with them differently and my way to deal with them is to put them out on the internet i want you guys to take a look into my life i don't want you to feel pity for me i don't want you to be like oh i'm so sorry like i wish no i don't i'm not looking for any attention like that i just want people to see life through my perspective and i want to put out what i'm going through on my youtube channel just so um if there's anyone else that's going through it just so they know that they're not alone and i know that i'm not alone i know that there's a lot of people that are going through the same thing that i'm going through right now and all glory to god i hope the odds work in my favor and that everything works out at the end and if it doesn't then it's fine because god already has a plan for us and before we even come on earth and if this is my plan then I'm just gonna go ahead and live with it and deal with it so I'm gonna just put all my faith in him all my trust in him my life is in his hands and whatever he wants to do of it then that's what he does so that's basically what has been happening why I have been so away from my youtube channel you know i'm just gonna make the best out of my situation I'm gonna live positively and just pray and pray and pray that everything works out like it's supposed to so yeah i am um, this video is already kind of long but i'm probably gonna cut out a lot of things and make it shorter for you guys so it's not boring and you don't click off of it too fast but anyways thank you so much for watching i will go ahead and bring you guys a new video soon and I also want to thank you guys for over 3,300 subscribers. I am stinking grateful for every single one of you that clicks and watches my videos and that supports me and leaves cute comments and follows my Instagram and DMs me on Instagram. I'm extremely thankful and I will never take this for granted and I just hope that um i keep putting out content that you guys like and if you have any suggestions then go ahead and just leave them down below or dm me on instagram if you like but other than that that's all i have for you guys today and thank you so incredibly much for watching and i'll go ahead and see you in my next video bye